Okay, good morning guys, what's up? So, uh, wanted to discuss and show you guys one of the few things I don't like about Dubai and that's uh, trying to keep the garage clean. I know some of you all have got some fantastic garages um, whereby the conditions are good, you can have nice things inside. Um, you can see I've got two cars, two ATV quad bikes, some uh, little storage cupboards there, but I can't keep a lot in here that's exposed because of the amount of dust and stuff that we, uh, we get here. It finds its way under the doors, just gets in here all the time. So I'm gonna do a little video, just uh, clean it up in here, try and keep it nice. You see my uh, graffiti on the wall there. That's what's going on, let's get to work. So we got everything out. As you can see, it's a bit windy. You can see all these leaves and all this rubbish blowing around. And this, unfortunately, look, that's how it gets in. Now, I had actually painted the uh, floor with epoxy black uh, resin, which is good for, <laughs> good for some things, but if it's dirty as hell like this, fuck, then it doesn't really matter what the floor is with. So, it's time to get this cleaned out. Let's go. Finished up, floor obviously still a little bit wet. The epoxy kind of holds the water on top, which is one of the reasons it's uh, durable. And uh, we'll wait for it to dry a bit before we put the cars back in. And uh, if any of you got any uh, ideas what I can add in my garage, then please give us, uh, give us a comment below. Drop it in there and let us know what you think. Sweet. Now the problem when I do this, I'm sure the wind is going to blow a little dust back in. So I'm going to go outside quickly and uh, just close that one right behind me. There we go. Okay, so while we're waiting for the, uh, the garage floor to dry up a bit, as you can see, it's a slightly cloudy-ish 
hazy day, bit of wind, that's the worst in Dubai, especially with black cars, because when it's windy, there's only one thing lying around in the wind, that's the sand. So the daily struggle of keeping black cars clean. My cars are always garaged. Um, at work, they're parked underground. Um, or this one's normally in, uh, in a garage getting worked on. So they're, they're never, never parked outside, other than now when I'm waiting for the garage to dry, collecting a little bit of dust. Um, okay, so now about the cars a little bit. A little update, you can see uh, on the Viper, we did have the uh, tire stickers, the white wall ones with the lines all the way around, which I thought looked pretty cool. Uh, my only issue with tire stickers is, is the lastability and how long they, they do last on a daily driven car. They're okay for show cars for sure. Um, mine were doing okay from Treadwear, great quality. I think they lasted on really, really good. But if you curb your front wheel, John, then, then they're gonna come off. So I scuffed the front one, which I'm screwing about, um, and then decided to, to remove them. Um, so I've only left just the rear P0 and Pirelli. I've left the front ones naked. Um, there's a little bit of glue resin on there. So anyone got any tips on how to remove any of that? I've looked on sites about acetone and certain things. Um, yeah, please drop me a comment and let me know what you think. The charger, still looking to sell it, not majorly pushing it. Um, the market in, in Dubai and in the UAE is pretty tough, but I am looking to sell it. It is, in my eyes, complete. There's not much else I can mod on it. I don't really want to be spending mods to change mods just for the sake of it. I would rather start a new project car, which uh, as you're aware, I'm looking for a 68 charger. And let's go a resto mod or something like that would be cool, man. So let's see, let's see what happens. Mm. So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the quad bikes or the ATVs. I, uh, I bought this for my son on his fourth birthday. So he was four in uh, November, so he's just turned four. He had a little battery operated one in the summer out in Portugal, which he was uh, loving. So I decided we'll follow it up and get him one when we got back to Dubai. Now, obviously I didn't want to go all out and spend, well, it's about nine grand, 9,000 on a Raptor 90cc because uh, I've personally owned the Raptor 660 and a Raptor 700 in the past. So I got him a, a slightly cheaper model um, just as a, as a break in period for him, see how he sticks with it. Um, it's proved to be successful. I'm kind of debating whether or not we should have gone or we're gonna go to the, uh, the more expensive uh, versions of these. I literally just thought I'll get myself a cheap little 250 um just basically to go out with him plod along with him give him the uh give him the encouragement if i'm on a quad as well he's going to want to do what daddy does so yeah i mean it's a 110 cc this one um as you know you can uh, dial the throttle down here just to restrict restrict the movement a little bit so that goes in uh, probably halfway a little bit less than halfway just until he gets comfortable with it He's super comfortable with it now. I've posted some videos up. He's getting the back end drifting. I'm gonna be biased because he's my son, but wow, I think he's just doing amazing for a four year old. It does say under six is not allowed. So go Jaden. Um, mine, uh, there's no point in me riding this on my own. I'm not gonna have any fun on this. It is slow as, but anyway, hopefully Jaden will uh, pick up fast. We'll get him a faster one and then guess what I'm getting? I'm getting a faster one too. Cool. Okay, so I think last thing uh, before I put him back in the cars is uh, let's have a little idle noise off. Let's, uh, let's give that a bash. So let's see what we think. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start the Viper up first. So bear with me.
time both cars are running on idle. I can't hear the Viper at all. Maybe if I, what about if I come down? Now if I stand here in the middle, because of the side pipes, I can hear the Viper a little bit now, but uh, still the Charger is the loudest. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please, any comments below, subscribe if you're first time watching. Go follow me on Instagram, at SRT John Boy. Also on Facebook, car page SRT John Boy 2. Peace out.